I'm gonna share with you everything I eat in a day to stay lean, so let's get into it. So before we get into coffee, before we have any food, we're gonna have a little hot water with lemon. It's great for digestion, it's great for your skin, such a great way to start the morning. So I'm gonna sip on this, do some of my morning routine, do a little bit of work, and then we'll get into the coffee and the good stuff. And while I'm drinking my hot water with lemon, I'm also working on this giant Stanley, which is 40 ounces of water. And I try and make sure I get a good chunk of this done before I have my coffee. I took Navy for a walk this morning and she is absolutely comatose. <laughs> I'm feeling like a smoothie because it's so hot and so beautiful outside. So let's get to the kitchen. <laughs> I swear it tastes so much better when you give yourself a few hours to get to your coffee. It feels like such a little treat. Oh my God, it's so good. We're gonna make a giant healthy smoothie. It's 81 degrees outside and my body is just craving like a cold, delicious, nutritious smoothie. And I'm bummed because I finished the spinach that I had in my fridge last night. Normally, every single smoothie I do, I put two to three handfuls of spinach inside of it because it's a great way to get in some extra veggies. I like to put in some fruit, some spinach, some protein, some hemp seeds for extra protein and fat. I'm gonna do a little bit of the powdered peanut butter for some extra protein and then a little bit of regular organic peanut butter for some regular fat and protein. I'm gonna add a bunch, you know what? We're just gonna add the whole little bag. This is just an organic berry medley with strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And for the whole package, it's 34 grams of carbs, two grams of protein, zero fat. So again, we're just doing a whole bag. This smoothie is gonna be a little bit more on the fat heavy side. There's nothing wrong with fats, your body needs fats. But typically I would just do hemp seeds or peanut butter, but for the sake of the taste of this smoothie, I'm gonna do both. And it's just gonna be a really dense meal. I love this powdered peanut butter. I know it sounds so creepy and so weird, but it has a good chunk of protein and I do two servings of it. So one serving is two tablespoons and in two tablespoons, it's 1.5 grams of fat, five grams of carbs and six protein. So two servings of this adds 12 grams of protein to this smoothie. Then the hemp seeds for how much I added has 10 grams of protein. So right there we're at 22. Then we're gonna add a scoop of, actually two scoops of this vegan protein powder. Then instead of doing two tablespoons, which is one serving for the peanut butter, I'm just gonna do one since again, we already have some fat from the hemp seeds. Boom, right there, this smoothie has 40, 40, 50 grams of protein. My math is pretty bad. For me, that is awesome, especially being like mainly plant-based. This is kind of a go-to meal for me, jam-packing fruit. Uh, spinach normally, <laughs> protein and fat, a bunch of healthy carbs because this will fuel me and give me a bunch of energy. It's so good. I want to share this in this video because I don't want you watching this and feeling like you can take notes and eat exactly how I eat. How I feel my body, the macros I take in, the calories that I take in are very different from what you should be taking in. I wish it was as simple as you can just watch what someone's eating and copy and paste it into your own life. I think it's really important that you hear this today. It's not about restricting yourself. It's not about cutting out food groups. It's not about obsessively tracking your calories and trying to eat as little as possible. It really is about learning to fuel your body, learning to nourish your body, learning to focus on your health and wellness rather than focusing on what foods are just gonna get you to your weight loss goals the quickest. For years, I was trying to eat a thousand calories in a day, 1200 calories in a day. I wasn't eating fruit, I wasn't eating sugar, I wasn't eating carbs. I, A, was absolutely miserable, I had no energy, I was just bloated, I was uncomfortable, I was moody all the time. And also B, I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted. So it's just really important that you know it took me years to get to this place of intuitively fueling my body. Being able to look at this smoothie and know kind of 
where the macros are at. I can ballpark with my eyes just now that I have the background of tracking macros, I can look at this and say there's this much protein, this much fat, this much carbs. It took time to get here. If you're looking for support in this, make sure you click in the description box down below because my program, The Glow Project, is really focused around building healthy habits. Inside of The Glow Project, I start to teach you how to intuitively fuel your body, the importance of macronutrients, how to start hitting those macro goals in a loving, very gentle way. You're not tracking every single day, you're not tracking for the rest of your life, but I do think that in order to get to this place of intuitive eating and staying lean and staying healthy you have to go through this period of education and showing yourself and practicing healthy balanced nutrition so if you want to learn more about the glow project click in the description box below it's a six-week wellness coaching program teaching you again how to really build healthy habits that last around your nutrition your workouts your healthy routines there's a six-week workout program for you to follow in there. We talk about morning routines, how to rewrite unhealthy habits, how to implement healthy habits, how to transform your mind, body, soul. It's just a great program. So that being said, remember as you're watching this, do not just copy and paste what I'm eating. It will not work that way. The first and most important step is really you learning how to fuel your body. Just wanted to give that little disclaimer before I keep sharing the meals throughout the day. It's been a few hours and that smoothie held me over for quite some time. I'm in a peanut buttery mood today, I guess, because I'm craving these little peanut butter crackers. They have 11 grams of fat, let's see, 33 grams of carbs, and four, four grams of protein. So normally I don't have this much fat throughout the day, like first thing, but between the peanut butter and the smoothie and then these peanut butter crackers, again, I don't know why I'm in such a peanut buttery mood. I just won't have the avocado that I normally have on my salad later tonight but I'm gonna snack on this and keep getting some more work done. I don't even know what time it is to be honest, but I'm feeling some lunch. I don't feel that creative, so we're gonna make some protein pasta, keep it super simple. This is my favorite protein pasta. It is a little penne pasta, and when you look at the macros, it is jam-packed with protein. For one serving, it's 56 grams, and let's be honest, I have about two, sometimes three, three servings of this. <laughs> so it has one gram of fat, 38 grams of carbs, five grams of fiber, which is awesome, and then 10 grams of protein. So having two or three servings of this makes it a nice little hearty meal. It's kind of plain. I'm just gonna do some butter and a little bit of Parmesan cheese because it's so good. <laughs> Here's the pasta all done. The Parmesan cheese came out way faster than I expected, but this bowl is not even full and it's almost three servings of pasta. And that's why it's so important that you're paying attention to portion control and just keeping an eye on how much you're eating. That's not to say that having a bowl of pasta is a bad thing. Your body needs carbs. Again, it's just a really good tool to be able to look at this and say, okay, instead of filling the whole bowl, half of the bowl or three quarters of the bowl is more than enough. And this is actually gonna satisfy me perfectly. If I filled the whole bowl, I might eat it all because it's right in front of me. But now that I've weighed it out and I can just visually see that this is the right amount for me, it's going to make me feel a lot more in control and a lot more in tune with my hunger cues. So it's a fast meal, get some protein in, and this is just a realistic day of what I eat. I think it's like 7, 7.30. It's been hours since I talked to you. This took like my nighttime shower. I'm going to go ahead and close up my office. Because I work a lot on social media and like content creating and stuff like that, it can be really hard to A, keep up with eating throughout the day because I'm just at my computer on my phone all day long and sometimes I just forget what time it is. B, it can be really hard to unplug and kind of like disconnect from work. So I'm going to make my downstairs a little vibe. We're going to make some dinner together. This this is a super staple meal for us. We make this dinner almost every single night. We love like staple meals. We are creatures of habit. This meal is delicious, nutritious. It's packed with protein and I'm excited. So let's go make some dinner. All right, dinner is rocking and rolling. I got some tofu on over here for me for protein. I just cube it up. I don't do anything super snazzy. Then I have some frozen veggies. We're gonna put that over our salads. This is Jake's, this is mine. It's like a little spring mix. And then his is just romaine lettuce. For him, I have some chicken air frying up and then we get to our potatoes. We have these almost every, I would say like every other night with these salads. And I chop up about three or four potatoes into little spheres, like little almost french fries. Bake them at 425 and then we're gonna have a giant salad with protein, with veggies, over some lettuce, with 
delicious carbs on the side. I take a really pretty glass and I pour myself a little kombucha. And to me, it's just as good as a little alcoholic drink. <laughs> I call it a mocktail and it just makes it feel so special and a nice little treat with dinner. The key to getting your tofu like this where it's like a little bit crispy and not super wet and <laughs> gross is A, you want to drain the, the tofu before you put it into the pan. So start the pan, heat it up a little bit, throw some spray in there, maybe a little bit of olive oil, kind of compress the tofu in a paper towel so some of the water comes out. Let the pan get hot, cube it up, crumble it up kind of like a ground beef if you want it like that, throw it in here, and then you want to let it get really hot. Honestly, I do it on like medium to high heat and it's gonna crisp up and become really like crunchy on the outside with some garlic salt and some every, I think it's like everything complete seasoning I put on it. It makes it so yummy. I may have made too much in the salads. They're absolutely huge. Here's how the potatoes came out. I love them because, hi babe. Um, Jake just got home from work, but some of them come out more thick like french fries, which I like, and then some of them come out more crispy for Jake. So we're gonna have this and enjoy dinner. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this little full day of eating. Again, just wanna remind you that this video is not to say that you should follow exactly how I eat and exactly how I feel my body. It doesn't mean that you should strive for the same macros, the same meals, the same amount of calories. This is just really to give you some inspiration when it comes to how to create meals that nourish your body. That's really my goal when it comes to health and nutrition and especially my diet. And I think you can see from most of the foods that I showed you today that I am like 90% plant-based. If I'm cooking something at home, most of the time it is a plant-based meal because that's what makes me feel best. But you also saw that I had a little bite of cookie dough and I have some cinnamon toast crunch. And you know, this is all part of living a healthy lifestyle. It's eating the majority of your foods from healthy nutrient dense sources like fruits and vegetables and whole grains and things like that But it's also not restricting yourself. I'm so glad that you guys were here and able to watch this video I love you so much. Thank you for being here Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked little full days of eating and I can record more of them And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel I post videos every every Sunday and Thursday all around health wellness nutrition movement healthy habits stuff like that so I'm gonna head to bed with me and hubby and Navy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.